safe operation, efficient spraying, and elevated durability. These are all things you can expect from Alcometer's wide range of spray equipment. However, in order for this to be the case, the proper assembly procedures must be followed. In this video, we are going to teach you how to assemble the Alcometer Cara double diaphragm pump. The Alcometer Cara pump kit is supplied in two boxes. The pump, hoses and filters in one box, and the Segola X4100 spray gun in the second. To unpack the Cara pump, carefully loosen the packing tape on the top of the box, which can be worked out by the image on the box, lay the box onto its back, pull all of the individual components and interior packaging out, and pull the pump out from the handle side. Finally, dispose of the packaging in an environmentally approved way as required, or, as we have done in this video, use the box as a clean surface on which to assemble the pump. The assembling process can now begin. Now you should grab the following tools, the adjustable wrenches and the cable tie cutters. Once the Cara is out of the box, do a quick walk around and inspect the gun and pump air regulator for any damages. Inspect that all fittings are secure and that the main air supply ball valve and recirculation ball valve opens and closes. Now it's time to inspect each individual component for damage or wear. Pay close attention to the cage on the product filter, making sure not to hold it by the mesh. Look closely at the fittings on the product intake hose and the recirculation tube, ensuring they are clear from debris. So now that we have inspected each individual item for damage or wear, place a rag or a container underneath the pump and remove the yellow protection cap. Oil may begin to flow out, but don't be alarmed. This oil is simply there to protect the interior components of the pump from corrosion during storage and transit. Once the storage oil is drained out, visually inspect the bottom pump intake to ensure it is free of any obstructions and that the threads are also undamaged. Make sure that the foot filter is firmly attached to the end of the product intake hose and then, once any oil has stopped flowing, connect the product intake hose to the product inlet at the bottom of the pump. Before doing this, determine the position you would like your product intake hose to face. This is typically determined by the position of your product container. For ease of assembling, loosen the anti-kink spring located on the end of the hose, tighten it by hand, and then using the adjustable wrench from behind the pump. Whilst all Elkometer Cara pumps are supplied with a product intake hose as standard, if you have purchased a hopper, an optional accessory, attach this here instead. Fully close the pump and gun air regulators. We do this as a safety precaution when we power up the pump. Open and close all of the ball valves to ensure these move freely. Then, ensure both are in the closed position. Remove the sound muffler. Visually inspect it for any damage or debris. The muffler is used to lessen the decibel sound on the diaphragm pumps when the air exhausts during the pump changeover. Now we need to check that the orange anti-pulsation chamber and secondary product filter is free of debris. Inspect the fluid filter. Remove the anti-pulsation chamber. This exposes the filter core. Unscrew the round filter locking nut. This should come off by hand. The solid stem should now be exposed. Visually inspect it for damage and debris. Transportation of the pumps might cause some components to loosen up. Visually inspect the filter, ensuring that you have the appropriate mesh size for your chosen product. The higher the grade of mesh, the finer the filtration. Do not be alarmed with the residual testing fluid in the housing. This is here because we thoroughly test every unit. If there is residual testing liquid, give it a quick wipe. Once you are satisfied that the filter core is suitable, guide it back over the stem ensuring you are reapplying it in the correct orientation. Do not wipe off any lubricant on the filter housing threads. We use non-silicone lubricant on the filter threads to prevent paint from building up around the threads. If you require more lubricant, it is available on our dedicated spray website, spray.elcometer.com. Then, slide the orange housing over the core of the filter, tightening it by hand. Now, Take the recirculation tube and uncoil it. 
make it as straight as possible. Then, slide the collar down a bit and expose the interlocking male fitting. Go to the recirculation ball valve on the Cara and position this into the ball valve outlet. Carefully slide the collar towards the ball valve threading and hand tighten the collar to lock the recirculation tube onto the recirculation ball valve. Tighten it with the adjustable wrench to ensure it is secure. Attach the recirculation tube onto the bracket of the main fluid intake hose and do another inspection to make sure the fluid intake hose is secure and not moving around. Replace the anti-kink spring and place your fluid intake hose onto the conveniently placed hooks. Now it's time to attach the all-in-one fluid regulator. Firstly, fully open the fluid regulator. Then, firmly hold the fluid regulator assembly and steady it while securing the female collar to the male one and a quarter inch fluid inlet on the fluid regulator. Be careful not to cross thread. Position and secure by hand tightening the collar. Do not tighten with the weight of the assembly bearing down on the fitting as this will create a suboptimal connection. Once in position and in the direction you desire, tighten it with the adjustable wrench. Inspect the fluid and air hose assembly. There should be a Teflon seat on the inside of the collar that seals the hose onto the fluid outlet ports. Now identify which of the ends of the hose will be connected to the pump fluid and air outlets and which end will be connected to the spray gun fluid and air outlets. Normally the fluid hose is shorter near the gun end. Holding the fluid and air hose assembly in one hand, carefully thread the female collar onto the male one and a quarter inch fluid outlet port of the fluid regulator. Be careful not to cross thread the collar. Connect the gun air supply hose to the gun air regulator on the pump. Unbox the Segola X4100 spray gun. In the box, there will be a leaflet containing a QR code. Scan this code to go directly to the instructions manual. Connect the fluid and air supply hoses to the gun. Hand tighten both the air and fluid hose assemblies on the gun, and then tighten further with the adjustable wrench. The pump and gun is now fully assembled. Make sure to tighten any fittings before you proceed any further. If you would like to learn more about the Alcometer Cara, be sure to watch the rest of the videos in the Cara series, or visit our dedicated spray website, spray.alcometer.com, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For information about any other Alcometer products, visit our main website, www.alcometer.com.